The vet is here to take Tilly's cast off, you guys. Do you guys know what day it is today? Today is the day. What day is it? It's a special day. Everybody knows, but you guys don't know? May 2nd. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yay. Tilly's getting her cast oh. off today. What? Today's the day. You didn't even tell us. I did tell you. I did. No, you said it in a video, but you didn't tell us. Tell us. Tell oh, okay. Well, it's official. No. Today, she's getting her cast off. Do you think she's going to be able to walk? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. I hope so. Oh, no. <gasps> Tilly! Are you happy? Today's the day. You guys see what happened to Tilly's umbrella? What happened to it? It flew all the way over into the goat area over there. Oh my gosh, it was really windy last night. She overturned her pellets. She keeps oh. doing that. She, we don't let her out yet. You gotta get Penny first. <laughs> How are you knocking your food over, huh? Here she comes. <laughs> she's gotta hop the whole way and then she's gotta say hello to the other goats. Scary umbrella. Stop on the stump. Is she going to stump? <laughs> yes, always. Stump is life. Found your umbrella, Tilly. Ran away. Uh-oh, let me help. Watch out, Willow. You didn't shut the gate. You said you were gonna shut it. You forgot. <laughs> okay, go shut the gate so that she can wait her turn. You can put her down now. So fluffy. Wait just a little bit, Willow. Just a little bit. <laughs> she got over that real quick. She was sad for like 0.2 seconds, and she's like, ah, oh, at least I can jump around. Kevin. That umbrella had flew up all the way into the goat pen. Yeah. No. Oh, wait, I got it, I got it. Well, she didn't step in it. She didn't step in it, you were good. The trick to keeping a goat from kicking is that when they kick, you still don't take your hand off the udder. So you teach them that, that no matter what they do, your hand's gonna stay there. And then eventually they kind of learn, except for right now, Penny's kind of in a bad mood today. A worse mood than she normally is. There's mom. Oh, it's not Willow. Be patient. <laughs> Just a second, Willow. Oh. So hard, because she tries to get in right now, and it's like. Come on. Oh. Uh oh. You know what? Oh. Get back. Get there. Close it, Mom. Close it. Close it. She's used to going first. Yeah. Come on, Luna. She sees the big branch the dad has. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I see. I see. Okay. okay, go that way, Dad, and then she'll follow you. Go, go. Go, go. <laughs> Hurry, hide it, hide it from view. Okay. Ready, go. Where is it? There you go. Oh, don't use it. Dang it. We have like a million in there. I could keep taking her out and drop them. That's what happens. Like, no! You almost hit that on the ground again. Okay, if I set the camera right here, I won't get knocked over when Luna hops down, right? Uh, sometimes she goes that way and sometimes she goes that way. Uh oh. Luna never spreads her legs far enough. Do you want to explain to people why Luna has one feet? Oh, I'm pretty sure she just, dry didn't she just dry up on this side? Yeah. And this one didn't. She so. just, the baby just drank from one side and dried up on the other. This side of the pole, this side of the pole. 
<laughs> she goes on that side. All right, get Doris and I'll milk her. Good news is guys, Doris's mastitis infection is almost gone. So success, and I was just using herbs to boost her immune system, and then I just milked her out multiple times a day, added some essential oils to that. I'm very happy with the results. I'm actually waiting on some more herbs to come that are specific for mastitis, so we'll just give it to her when it comes. Are you all better now? Huh? Oh, stop, 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 stop. Did you, you do one that? from each squirt? Yeah, from each teat. Oh one. yeah, the one on the right well, side. A little bit different little color, bit. but yeah. So it's slowly going away. It's pretty good, actually. You're all done, good job. Go on. She always likes to be led down. She likes to eat leaves along the way. Yeah. Put the thing in the thing. Thing on the thing. Cup on the thing. Should we gross out everybody and show them what the filter looks like when it's done? Here it comes, all the little pieces. Ew. <laughs> Well, we have one good cool day. Today is 73 degrees, and then it's gonna get up to 100 in just a few days. So, today we're gonna clean up the garden and get everything ready for our summer garden. Now that we're sufficiently exhausted from working in the garden, the vet is here to take Tilly's cast off, you guys. This is an important day. Yes. We're all pretty dang excited about it. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good, yourself? Good. All right, we're ready for this cast to come off. So we'll take it off and see how she's walking um, to 100% check that it would be healed would be to take her in and do radiographs. Oh, okay. Um, that's up to you. Okay. Well, um, I guess we'll see how she walks and then yeah, we'll decide if what you think. She's so bored. All right, here it comes. Ah. <sighs> Paralyzed. She's not used to like huh? bending it at all. A little knot to it. Which I kind of expect. Yeah, it'll kind of, the ligaments will kind of tighten up and. Yeah, I think it's going to take a. She's going to have to stretch it back out a little bit. We'll just have to see how she does. Yeah, Maybe we'll do an x ray or something. Keep her confined so she doesn't fight with goats and she just walks, doesn't run. I think with that stretching everything back out, we may just put her on it for a few days. A little different. <laughs> I'd be more interested to see how she's working on it in like two days. Okay, all right. I wasn't expecting her to take off. Yeah. She's kind of a really active goat, that's kind of how she got into trouble, so. Yeah. All right, we'll just keep an eye on her and let you know how she is in a couple days. A lot of stuff to stretch back out. Yeah, that's good, and then just tighten them. Does it work? It works! Okay. That's cool. I know. 
<laughs> oh, you on this one. oh yikes I guess I should have got smaller ones like, I'm actually gonna group all of these together watch this ba boom oh my gosh look at it from here <laughs> that <laughs> looks so funny, funny. That's all right. <laughs> who cares People will be judging us that's okay <laughs> Not don't care. judge our bright green party favor bags. <laughs> well, I did it green because I thought, oh, there are a lot of tums on this tree. There are. Anything else? Well, you can put another big one around the two down below. Ooh, second favorite fruit. I don't care if it looks really bad, right? These birds it's ain't fine. Getting, they ain't getting our fruits. Can now when our trees it? are bigger, we're gonna be willing to give the birds some of our food. But right now, them fruit is ours. Well, the boys are gonna be home late, so Lydia and I are gonna sit here and eat figs on the back deck under a tiny little bowl. We only have three of them. We're gonna have to split the last one. Figs grow really easy here, so it's nice. Figs are good, but they make your hands feel weird. Yeah, that one's not. We have a ton. You picked it early. Fine. <laughs> Pond's looking gorgeous. Deck's looking gorgeous. We finished oiling it yesterday. It about killed us. It was such hard work. And we're all done now. Well, we were able to get a ton of gardening work done today. We have everything cleared out now so that we can get going on a nice summer garden. Gonna keep the artichokes here, obviously, because that's a perennial. It'll just keep coming back year after year. We're gonna put tomatoes here. Lots of good stuff. We also decided to kind of cover up a few of our beds so we could keep the soil really active until we're ready to plant. If we left it just open to the air, it would dry out and the bugs would all leave and it would be kind of void of nutrients. So in the next video, we're gonna finish up planting and then I'll do a really fun garden update of everything that we've been planting and all the fun stuff that's coming. Oh, we did get the creeping fig. So we're excited about this guy. Pretty cool when that thing grows up all over the pergola, huh? All right, guys, I think that that is it for tonight. We've had a big day. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you later. Bye.